Top 7 Weird Christmas Facts Number 7. Smelly Mistletoe It's that time of year again. Grab your sweetheart and head below the mistletoe. But do you know the true origins of this smooch-worthy plant? The origins of this plant's history dates back hundreds of years, and its rise to prominence was largely fueled by the Christmas holidays. But did you know this plant is hiding a dark secret? Literally meaning dung twig, mistletoe is named after the fact that it tends to spring out of bird droppings on trees, after the seeds have passed through the bird's digestive tract. Not only that, but it can also be very parasitic, often requiring a host tree in order to sustain itself. So, next time you kiss your significant other beneath the mistletoe, remember, you're standing beneath a parasitic poop twig. Number 6. The Wartime Christmas Truce Christmas has a unique ability to bring people together. This tradition of kindness is so strong that it has even been shown in times of war. Five months into World War I, on the morning of December 25th, 1914, German soldiers positioned on the Western Front emerged from their trenches and walked towards Allied troops, yelling out the words, Merry Christmas. After weeks of tense fighting, there was an eerily strange sense of calm in the air. No more gunfire, no more explosions, simply the voices of their enemies calling out. To everyone's amazement, it was not a trick, and countless British fighters came out to greet them and shake their hands. Some even exchanged cigarettes as gifts. Later known as the Christmas Truce of 1914, this event was one of the last examples of wartime chivalry. Number 5. Rudolf the Red-Nosed Drunk As a true Christmas time favourite, Rudolf has a special place in all of our hearts. However, this lovable character almost got the axe before ever debuting. Rudolf the Red-Nosed Reindeer got his start as an advertising gimmick. Like many corporate branding icons, Rudolf was created in the hope of increasing business. A copywriter named Robert L. May first created the Merry Misfits in 1939 to lure shoppers into the Montgomery Ward department store. During the design process, executives almost axed their character due to the fact that a red nose was a sign of chronic alcoholism, and Montgomery Ward thought that he would look like a drunkard. Eventually, clearer heads prevailed, and the Rudolph we all know and love was born. Number 4. The Santa Claus Spanking We all have a soft spot for our favourite Christmas films, but did you know some of those classics contain some pretty dirty references? In the first release of the Christmas blockbuster The Santa Claus, Tim Allen mentions the number 1-800-SPANK-ME as a joke. This phone number ended up being a real phone sex service, leading to thousands of children across the globe dialing in the number through their parents' phones. In response to this, Disney tried to buy and discontinue the number, although it's not known if they succeeded. According to sources, there were multiple cases of children racking up their parents' phone bill by calling the number. A few notable instances include two nine-year-olds calling the number to get $500 in charges, and a 10-year-old girl who got $250 in charges, but also needed counselling for what she heard on the line. Number 3. A KFC Christmas Out of all the odd mutations of American culture to be exported abroad, Japan's KFC Christmas tradition is definitely one of the strangest. Thanks to a successful marketing campaign 40 years in the making, this tradition has spawned a mass following. During the month of December, KFC Japan will bring in revenue in excess of up to 10 times greater than what it earns during other months of the year. Massive Colonel Sanders statues, a common sight in the country, will be put up and dressed in red attire and Santa hats. On the night of Christmas Eve, Kentucky Fried Chicken's lines will wrap around the block, and those unlucky enough not to pre-order their special fried chicken buckets a month in advance may have to do without. The legend has it a Western visitor couldn't find a turkey on December 25th, and visited a KFC for chicken instead. Once at the store, an enterprising franchise manager noticed and passed on the tip. Whether true or not, it's certain that this tradition is here to stay. Number 2. Operation Christmas during the Christmas of 2010, the Colombian military began planning a unique and brazen holiday operation. Their target, the FARC, is the oldest and largest group amongst Colombia's left-wing rebels. The planning was meticulous, as the military selected nine 75-foot trees to cover with lights. The trees were strategically placed along paths that FARC insurgents used and were decorated with Christmas lights, including a message stating, if Christmas can come to the jungle, you too can come home. 
demobilize. At Christmas, everything is possible. When the men walked by, the trees lit up brightly and banners asking them to lay down their arms became visible. Over 331 guerrilla fighters laid down their weapons and re-entered society, a 30% increase from the previous year. Number 1. Drunk Mummers As Christmas time rolls around in Newfoundland, people known simply as mummers dress up in crude disguises, such as pillowcases, scarecrow masks and downright terrifying attire. These mummers travel throughout the city, knocking at each house they see. Once a homeowner lets them in, they begin to dance, play music, and most importantly, get wasted drunk, while the hosts try to discover their true identities. The only rule is that the mummers will only reveal themselves to the host if their identity is correctly guessed. In one notable instance, on June 25th, 1861, an act to stop mummers was introduced in response to the death of a man named Isaac Mercer in Bay Roberts, Newfoundland. Mercer had been murdered by a group of masked mummers on December 28, 1860. The bill made it illegal to wear a disguise in public without permission of the local magistrate. However, mummering in rural communities continued despite the passage of the bill.